Hi, I'm uh, Dr. Paul from Zurich, Switzerland. Uh, this is a lecture about uh, provisional restorations. And uh, you may all wonder, well, provisional restorations, not a big deal, probably nothing of uh, great interest. And yet, I would urge you uh, to consider a perfect temporary restoration as the basis, the foundation of any restorative excellence you may strive for. So we all have uh, experienced uh, clinical situations like that uh, where you do a direct uh, temporary restoration based on a silicon uh, mold that you took before you remove the old crown. Uh, that's an easy going. Nevertheless, uh, coming up with the nice marginal fit requested or necessary to create uh, the uh, healthy internal sulcus epithelium, which then is the prerequisite for a good impression, easy impression, and a good adhesive cementation. Well, all this will be discussed in this lecture, and we would be happy to welcome you to uh, follow it. Or a situation where we would use an indirect lab-made temporary restoration, a little bit more complex, including a crown lengthening procedure. So this lecture not only deals with uh, the temporization, but also with uh, some clinical issues, or, uh, yeah, this is always a uh, pain in the neck, if I may say so, uh, temporaries for uh, veneer prepared teeth. Uh, what can I do? How do I make them stay in place, not fall off every so often? This will be uh, discussed in this lecture. And then uh, implant retained situations, either using multiple implants uh, where you have uh, use of temporary restorations for a longer period of time. It may be uh, making it necessary to use uh, metal reinforced temporary restorations or when it comes to really demanding clinical um, situation, the immediate, uh, immediate approach means tooth extraction, immediate placement of implants and uh, immediate temporization followed then by a final uh, restoration. Uh, what aspects uh, should be uh, taken into consideration in order to create uh, best possible uh, aesthetic result? Of course, uh, various materials and various uh, cements to be used uh, for the temporary approach are being discussed and we welcome you to see it all. For more education programs, visit the Guide Institute at www.guidedental.com.